uh, we're, we'll go ahead and get started now. So my name is Cesar Espinosa and I'm Executive Director of FIEL. Today, I won't say we are honored, but we're also humbled to be here in Pasadena, Texas for the unveiling of this beautiful mural that you see behind us. A mural that, although we accept it and embrace it, is a mural that shouldn't exist because what happened in, U in Uvalde, Texas should have not had happened. But now that we are here, we ask ourselves of what needs to happen to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And the answer is we need policy changes for there, for, for there to be safety in the schools, for there to be safety on our streets, and for our children to be safe. So in conversations, we, we came up with the fact that things like this need to be seen so that people will not just turn blind, a blind eye and look away. We need to see these things in our communities so that folks can understand that we still have a process to go through. And it, although it might not happen overnight, at the end of the day, we need policy changes. We need real changes to make sure that we keep people safe. We are tired of thoughts and prayers. We need action. So with that in mind, we were we approached Mr. Mr. Floyd Mendoza, who you will hear from uh, shortly, and use this creative space in order to spark conversation. We know that this is very meaningful, specifically here in Pasadena, where 76% of the population is Latino. And oftentimes when, we, when Latinos and the Latinx community asked us, what needs to be done? Why doesn't nobody come to save us? We, our response to them is, nobody's gonna save us but ourselves. And hopefully this mural sparks conversation so that people can know that nobody will save us but ourselves. Mi nombre es Cesar Espinosa, soy director ejecutivo de FIEL. Hoy estamos aquí en Pasadena, Texas, con este mural, que es un mural que no tiene que existir, pero desgraciadamente existe por la tragedia que pasó en Nuval de Texas. Estamos aquí, estamos, eh, estamos, eh, nos trae de mucho orgullo, pero a la misma vez nos trae frustración en que tengamos que estar aquí para recordar a las víctimas de Uval de Texas. En, hace una semana eh, encontramos a, al artista Floyd Mendoza, que él estaba eh, pidiendo ayuda para este, para este mural. Y nosotros inmediatamente respondimos a la llamada y dijimos que íbamos a apoyarlo en lo que fuera para asegurar que tener esta pieza, no solamente para ahorita, pero para, fu para el futuro, para continuar la conversación en qué necesita que cambiar para que cosas así no vuelvan a pasar. So, estamos aquí, estamos en una población, en una ciudad a donde más del 76% de los habitantes son latinos y a donde necesitamos más que nunca tener esas conversaciones para asegurar que haya seguridad en nuestras, en nuestras calles, en nuestras escuelas y con todos los miembros de nuestra comunidad. So, estamos aquí, esperamos continuar eh, teniendo estas instalaciones, no solamente con, con esto, pero también para cosas más emotivas para celebrar en el futuro y esperamos que esto sea el principio de una colaboración de mucho tiempo para asegurar que tengamos los mensajes que nuestra comunidad se merece ver. So with that being said, I now want to introduce you to the very talented, and I say that as an understatement, Mr. Floyd Mendoza, who's the creator of this mural. All right, well, uh, thank you, Caesar. Uh, well, first off, I want to say, you know, once again, thank you to, you know, Caesar and Biel and, you know, just everybody who's been a part of it. I want to thank Joey, the photographer, the, the photo that we use for the, uh, the reference, uh, Gustavo, who uh, also, you know, helped out with the funding. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, you know, like what Caesar mentioned, man, this, you know, this event or this mural sh probably shouldn't exist, but it's, you know, it, it does. Um, and I guess my heart behind the whole instance was, you know, it's like when, when that happened, I think everybody asked themselves, like, man, what can I do? And, you know, as an artist, I, you know, this is what I do, you know, I, I do best is, you know, art and, you know, create and, and make people feel a certain way. And, you know, it it, it was something that just, I guess it, it happened as, as it did, you know, like I said, it. It was one of those things where, you know, I was going to use this wall for my own thing, for my own ambition, for my own seeking. And, you know, when the event happened, I just kind of looked at my resources. I'm like, you know what, this stuff needs to happen. And I met Joey with the photo 
and then man caesar you know reached out reached, reached out on social media and caesar helped out with the funding and it's like i said i i don't want me to be the focus of this like it it, it really is a dedication to those those children we lost in uvalde and the teachers and you know i i really want this this painting to really speak volume to that you know there there's there needs to be change there's needs to um there's a need to, you know, make things happen. And, you know, I hope this mural has some type of effect on, on many, many of the, the things that are um, gonna, you know, come come to pass. And um, but yeah, with that, I wanna say thank you once again to all you guys and uh, for Caesar and Fiel and uh, Gustavo and Joey and um, just everybody who came out here today. So thank you. I wanna ask you a question. How yes, long sir. did it take you to develop this from the beginning to the finish? Uh, well, the developing process, man, it was actually because uh, I met Joey about two weeks ago. Uh, he's a photographer. The photo that I used, uh, and it was it was actually the same week that the Uvalde happened, and it was a Tuesday, and I met him Thursday, and he showed me a photo, and it was a, the photo of those three children holding the sign, and for some reason I couldn't shake that, I couldn't shake the feeling, I couldn't shake that photo out of my head, and I'm like, you know, this needs to be on a wall, so I reached out to the city. And I was actually trying to reach out to him for like two, three months, but I could never get a hold of him. And just, you know, by the grace of God, like, hey, he picked up and we got consent. The owner is like, hey, do your thing. And it just, you know, of course, Caesar reached out on the funding. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is happening. So I guess as far as the painting, the work, hey, I started Wednesday and I finished uh, Friday. So just about three days or so, so. But I guess throughout the whole process, about two weeks, so. You, you make that, that, uh, that, that foreground the three the three image of this little kids but in the background you see letters Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the letters, or actually, the we we use the names of the, the 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 I guess the children we lost and the people we lost in the in the Uvalde shooting. Uh, I wanted to use the photos of some of the victims, but I just didn't think that was appropriate. You know, just you got to get consent from the the parents, and you know, I, it it felt like it'd be a little too much to try to get that going. So we use some of these Hispanic kids and. Um, you know, just to really represent, like, hey, like, hey, we're, you know, because it, it could happen to any of our children, and, that, and that's a sad fact. And, uh, but yeah, I guess the names, we used all the names. If, if you look closely, all of the names are on there. And then, of course, you know, um, yeah, it's just, we just really wanted to get that, that point across that, hey, that this, there needs to be changed. So, no, no, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, once again, like, like I said, it was, we didn't seem it. We didn't think it was right to use some of the victims, just because of, um, yeah, like I said. I mean, these parents are already going through a lot, just losing a child, and you know, to reach out to say, "Hey, can we use your kid?" and it, it probably would have been a little much. And so, you know, Joey, th thankfully, he had the photo that I was looking for, the the kids, the children, the face, the facial expressions. It, it was exactly what I wanted. You know, if, if I wanted to do something like this. So, thank you. Yeah, absolutely, thank, thank you, Floyd. Uh, and, and to explain the picture, we actually have Joey, the photographer, who took the picture. Uh, and what, one of the things, do you have the picture yeah. on your phone? So I want you guys, I want you all to see the picture in real life and then translate it onto this wall. And once again, to, to um, amplify Mr. Mr. Floyd Mendoza's talent that it looks almost identical. So this is truly a, a process and something that we want to continue to support so that other local artists can, can have these opportunities and to once again create impact for the community, to bring conversations out into the community and to make sure that at the end of the day, the community is, is those people who fight for legislation and for things to change. So with that, uh, Mr. Joy, if you could show us the picture and then explain I to us. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. And photo. we'll show it afterwards as well. Yes. Good. Yeah, so uh, I'm at Mendoza probably like three weeks ago. It was the week of the shooting. Um, on It was on a Tuesday, I remember it. Um, we was at my church, we had church, and we just wanted to just do more than just post a picture that said, pray for you, Valde. We felt like a photo literally says everything. Um, a thousand words are in a photo, and uh, the photo just came to life, and... Um, met Mendoza on a Thursday and it was just kind of just like connected really well and uh, he just painted a beautiful mural and yeah man I'm, yeah just, 
WC has worked and it's just amazing that we can come together and just kind of kind of make a declaration, kind of make a statement that, you know, you need to keep our kids safe and yeah. Thank you. Uh, Joey, Joey, just spell it. Oh, J J O E Y Rodriguez R O D R I G U E Z. Yeah, uh, my name is Floyd Mendoza. F L O I D M E N D O C A. Okay. I'm just curious when you took the photo. Yeah. When did you? Yeah. So I took the photo at my church on. Uh, it was on a Tuesday night, the same day of the uh, the shooting. All right, uh, obviously, in order to make these things happen, we also need more community support. And one of the people that I always, whenever I call, he answers and picks up the phone. And one of the people that made this event possible was Mr. Gustavo Suarez. So I would like for him to come forward and ask what was inspiration to uh, take from canvas to paper with, with resources for Mr. Suarez. So one of the things that always es important to recalcar is that for all these resources, y a las personas que siempre le llamamos y siempre contesta al de la comunidad es el señor Suárez. So, él va a explicar por qué él decidió eh, tomar la decisión para apoyar este proyecto. In English and Spanish. Well, thank you everyone. Uh, my name is Gustavo Suárez. G-U-S-T-A-V-O. Last name Suárez. S-U-A-R-E-Z. More than anything, I am a father. I am a father of a 12 year old kid, of a seven month old baby. And one of the questions that I have every time, every night I go to bed, is how can I explain our own kids what we're living today? What role do we play as active members of the community? And part of this question that in fact, my 12 year old Nico has asked me is why? So often we tend to react after the incident has happened. But the true question and the real question is, what can we do today, not only at a macro level, but also at a micro level in our community? And micro level means in our houses, at home, during dinner, spending time with our kids, because this is a reminder that life is too short, that our kids are not going to be here forever, that we're not going to be here forever, unfortunately, because of incidents and events that are happening today. I strongly believe that each and every one of us have a way and form to be active in issues like this. Beyond legislation, we are part of that legislation. We the people, we the fathers, the mothers at home spending more time with our kids and ensuring that they are protected. Just let's take a quick moment and look at what Mr. Floyd painted on the wall. Instead of prayer and thoughts, the kids are asking for us, the adults, to keep them safe. Shouldn't we have conversations instead about how to get them ready for college? How to include our kids into conversations? How to unite our communities rather than keeping our kids, our kids, our kids safe? So more than the participation that we have to make this happen, it is a moral obligation that each and every one of us have to be part of this issue. We all hope that this doesn't ever happen again, but the question is, will it happen again? And what are we doing to prevent from that to happen? So that to say, thank you, Mr. Floyd. Thank you for the photography. Thank you for all the families that are here today. Thank you, Cesar, for always stepping in for the communities beyond legislations beyond a political party and to truly start taking action into uniting our communities at a local level. I want to pay this for Mi nombre es Gustavo Suárez y el día de hoy como padre 
de un niño de 12 años, de un bebé de 7 meses de recién nacido y como miembro activo de nuestra comunidad. Mi primera pregunta es, ¿qué estamos haciendo en este momento para prevenir situaciones como las que están sucediendo el día de hoy? ¿Qué podemos hacer nosotros como miembros activos de nuestra comunidad? No es únicamente desplegar la responsabilidad hacia nuestros líderes de comunidad o hacia nuestros legisladores, aquellos que nosotros elegimos, pero también qué efecto tiene dentro de cada uno de nosotros en nuestras casas, no solo a un nivel macro, pero a la misma vez en un nivel micro. Es decir, qué tanto tiempo estamos gastando con nuestros hijos, qué tantas conversaciones estamos desarrollando con ellos, no solo para prevenir victimarios, pero también a su misma vez para prevenir aquellos quienes cometen los crímenes. Hoy, cada uno de nosotros como padres puede estar previniendo una catástrofe en 5 o 10 años. Y es nuestra obligación moral incluir más a otras comunidades, incluir más a niños, promover más unidad, en vez de polarizar desde nuestras casas, de pronto porque un hijo es más inteligente que otro, de pronto porque uno tiene mejores calificaciones, de pronto porque uno se viste mejor o hace más caso, siendo que nuestra narrativa y nuestro control de la narrativa nacional en casa debe ser más hacia unidad para prevenir situaciones como estas. Y los invito a que tomemos un momento para realmente reflexionar y digerir lo que dice en este muro. No estamos pidiendo oraciones, no estamos pidiendo un minuto de silencio, pero los niños están pidiendo que los protejamos. Y es nuestra obligación como adultos tomar acción el día de hoy desde nuestras casas. Gracias César, gracias Floyd, muchas gracias por la fotografía para recordarnos nuestra labor como padres y nuestra labor como ciudadanos parte de una comunidad. All right. Our final speaker will be uh, Crystal Davila. She's a board of trustee member for the Pasadena Independent School District. Hi, my name is Crystal Davila, and like you said, I'm a trustee for Pasadena Independent School District. I used to teach in this. Excuse me. Spell your name. Crystal Davila. C R Y S T A L Davila. D A V I L A. When the Uvalde shooting happened, I did not know how to react. I was a teacher at the moment, and I was relieved that the school year was going to be over. But I felt kind of selfish for the students that still have to go to school because, you know, they're forced to go to school. They're going to be in an environment that is pretty open to people attack. I think when it comes to this mural right here, it's a part of the process when it comes to grieving and just taking care of each other. As a trustee, I was reflecting on what is my responsibility when it comes to having an official position in a school district. And honestly, it's very limited, kind of going back to what he said before me. You have macro levels, you have micro levels, And what we can do right here as a community here in Pasadena is take care of each other. This is one example of us just kind of taking care of each other, making sure that our neighbors are good, um, relying on each other, because when it comes to other forces, they're not going to be there for us as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, no. Hola, mi nombre es Cristal Dávila. Yo estoy en la mesa directiva de Pasadena ISD. Y cuando sucedió esto lo de Uvalde, yo estaba en el salón porque soy una maestra 
en una high school. Y lo que yo sentí era un poco de... Estaba un poco contenta porque ya se iba a acabar el año escolar, pero luego me sentí un poco egoísta porque aunque yo me puedo ir del salón, ya sé que los estudiantes van a tener que seguir yendo a la escuela. Es algo que no nos hace sentir muy bien como familia, como papás, como tíos, como maestros. Sabemos que los estudiantes van a estar vulnerables a que esto suceda otra vez. Yo eh, me he puesto a pensar de qué es lo que puedo hacer como alguien que está en la mesa directiva aquí del distrito escolar. Y aunque esté muy limitado, lo que yo pienso que podemos hacer es estar atentos de cada uno de nuestros vecinos, de nuestras familias, a nivel donde cada uno pueda actuar. Thank you, Chris. Uh, we also did want to acknowledge uh, 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 Board of Trustee Paola Gonzalez Fosher. Her husband's here in her, in her behalf. She couldn't be here because she had a prior appointment, but she does send her regards and, and hellos. So at this time, we'll go ahead and walk towards the mural. We're gonna, uh, while we are there, we're gonna read out the names of the 21 victims, and we're just gonna say presente to to uh, invoke their presence and to invoke their spirit onto this in in order for this to never happen again. So en este momento vamos a caminar al mural, vamos a leer los nombres de las 21 víctimas y con la esperanza de invocar su su memoria, su espíritu para que esto nunca vuelva a pasar. And lastly, I wanted to thank every single one of you for coming out. I know it's super hot. Thank you for bringing your kids and for being here today. Uh, and, but now, as an organizer, I have one more for y'all.